It's time for some more muscle gains and it's time to go back in time because the Rewind event once again got a brand new update in the world of Armor Simulator. So let's get started. So in this latest update, the last part of the Rewind update, it will still will be here for like I think two more weeks after this update. So don't worry about it though. There is new square area, two new eggs, quests, metal upgrades, minor balancing UI chains. Okay, so we got some new metal stuff inside the game which looks pretty insane so let's go and enter the jazz club because i'm pretty sure the next area is in the same area so let's see where we're going okay do we see it oh there's a barricade right there do i have enough power please I have enough oh thank god we only need one billion knuckle strength so let's go ahead and boom we are through that area okay so there's another thing behind here okay it's 1.5 million get past this so that's easy with 25 million gold bomb there we go we have five new bosses we have officer fumbles okay he's probably a little bit corrupt we have major boss which is totally corrupt we have the sneaky stripes for 60 billion total strength we have the mysterious mogul for 91 and then we have the sheldon titanus mutant criminal 138 billion total recommended strength Tip Sheldon gets stronger every time you beat him. And you have to beat Sheldon Titanus a thousand times for the Traveler 3 badge. Okay, that looks sick. As well as a Market Fortune spin wheel. There as well as a Secret Merchant. Okay, or actually a Secret Guide to Defeat. Okay, and then there is a Secret egg in the area okay so we cannot reach this egg right here so it's probably just a prop so let's first off check out this mysterious street master so there's an op head which is a 0.1 percent chance of obtaining as well there is a 25 percent chance for another bone so let's see we need oh he has 150 billion power oh okay so this guy is very 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 strong and 135 billion for Sheldon. Oh my god, this update is very, very hard. Okay, let's just start at the start then because we cannot defeat this bad boy Charlie Chance. I, I would have grinded more power. I thought I would need to get him a lot more money. But the money was actually low and the power was a lot higher. So I should have actually grinded a lot more strength for this event. Because I can't even take down Sheldon Titanus. And I have to defeat him a thousand times for the Traveler 3 badge. That is kind of crazy. Okay, so we have two new eggs. They are two and a half, twelve and a half thousand, and thirty thousand. Ooh, the mastermind dragon, the crime spider, criminal hound, robber bear, and the boss elephant. And I don't think these really matter because the thirty k is always gonna be better. So let's go ahead and just start off. Do I have space? I never have space. Okay, we made some space now, and now we can go ahead and hatch this bad boy. So let's see what we're gonna get. We're just gonna go ahead and auto hatch or just use all the eight eggs because we should go through this actually we're not even going through this quite that quick to be honest so let's just go ahead and just spend all the money we have to be honest i don't think we need the money for anything else currently so let's just drain our 25 million stack all the way to zero okay i have two and a half million left but i think we're good to go let's see did we get any of the crime spiders no and we did not probably get any of what is it called the ball something uh the mastermind dragon no we did not is there as well a free pet to get no we do not get a guaranteed pet from defeating a boss so that's it is what it is so uh, i do get myself a full team of the criminal hounds because i've kept opening and i kept out of the other ones so uh times 15 on the event power strength which is very 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 good and i got way too many to fill the full team as well if you compare the bear it's times nine versus times 15 that's crazy okay so the criminal hounds are definitely a lot lot better you can see we now have a nice team of bad boys and if we would there's no new weights in this area actually okay so the best weights are just the previous event one so if we pick up the barbell we are now curling one million stat every time so that's actually very good all right so with our new army of pets we are good to go to check out the market fortune so receive special rewards from a chance wheel so oh okay wait 
Though, you can get these by defeating the boss, I'm pretty sure. So every time you defeat the boss, you get yourself these tokens. I really wish I could check it out because I don't have enough strength to even defeat him once. But, you know, I'm looking at there's a frog token right here. There's a frog token right here. So probably every 10 boss defeats, you get one spin. So we get us the time dominance, which is time 10. Nothing too crazy. We get us the can drop 125% boost. Ooh, that's actually very strong. That's so good. Uh, Tempest chance in that, we get us three times tickets, we get us the Dark Shimmer, 150% on the, uh, like, the gaining, that's so good, and the time billing, eight, 8 and 9 best friend pad, okay, that is very, very, very strong, okay, this view was, is bonkers, it's actually really OP. One thing I'm quickly going to check out is we're going to go back to the merchant. Did we get new items in here? No, we're still having the Dark Division arm in here. So we cannot get the new armor, the new pets from the merchant. It's just from the new area. So for this update, the plan is simple. You go ahead and defeat this Titan boss right here. If you do this a thousand times, get yourselves the metal from the spins. You can get, uh, of course, the new best slot arm for this area, the new best slot hat, the new best slot uh, pet as well. So that's extremely awesome. And then if you want to go for it, there's a 0.1% chance to get the OP hat on the left near the Street Master. So I still don't think it will be probably better than that hat in there. But of course, it's worth a try getting it. I don't think I can showcase any of this hat. Like there's no stats or whatever that are showcased. So uh, I would just go for the spin wheel pad until you're strong enough and maybe give that one a go and get yourself that hat as well. But the big last part for today's update is the new medals. So let's go ahead and check this out. So now there is a few medals for you guys to collect, which gives you more grip strength, more curl strength and more money as well. Well, so, uh, we do not own this metal. Does it say how to even get these? That would be nice. Okay, so it doesn't tell us how to get these. We know how to get this one. So, are there new quests, like, scattered around the map, maybe? Ah, here we have it. Okay, so these quests are all over the map. So, beat Mr. Robot 500 times to get yourself this quest complete. Ah. Okay, so where is the rest then? Okay, we'll quickly go to the magical forest to see if we can find the quest here Maybe for like the grip strength that's here because it would make sense if it's here. Ah Okay, so we found curler 2 Um, so there's a bunch of quests that are just hidden around the map. So this is curler 2 So curler 3 should be somewhere as well. We have to defeat the magma troll 750 times. So I think this probably stacks as well. Maybe you can only equip one metal. It would make more sense because he says like, like, there's like a slot here, right? So you can choose. So you just want to equip uh, Gripper 3, Curler 3, or Traveler 3. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so the third quest is not in this area. So is it maybe in the Rewind world? Ah, this is Traveler 1. Hmm. Okay. So these quests are scattered all over the game. It's very interesting. So, because I don't know where Traveler 2 is. Because, oh, actually, we know Traveler 1 and 2. I just don't know where, like, the other grip strength and strength trading areas are. Because it's not in the final world. So they're a little bit scattered around weirdly. Unless the, the, the board is just missing or it's coming in the future. Because it could just better be that it's not out yet, right? Um, but this is very, very interesting. Ah, Gripper 2 is in the Colosseum. Okay. The Void holds the Curler 1. 100 times cybernetic. And I don't know where the first quest is because I checked all the other worlds. Uh, maybe in the garden? No. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting. Like, they're just scattered all over the map. I will quickly defeat the Cybernetic for 100 times because I want to get one medal for today's video. But, of course, the other ones are like 1,500 times. So I have to grind a lot of stuff inside of the Rewind world as well. So, let's just do this 100 times real quick. Okay, we have done the 100 beating. So, let's if we now go over here. Okay, we get the Curler 1. So... Now, if we click this, you can see we have the curl one unlocked and we have to equip it. So, yeah, you can only equip one metal at a time. That is now confirmed. Very, very awesome, of course, as well. And now we get ourselves 10% more strength from, you know, curling, which is uh, pretty good. So, we'll have to say, though, no, Sally, there's no new code because they forgot to add it. So, you can use yourself, of course, the code from last week that says, well, that you said in the announcement post of Jazz Club. If you've not used it yet, of course, we've already used it, so we can't use it again. Uh, but I would assume that we will get one again. Uh, so, maybe code criminal or whatever. I'm just going to say it. Of course, it's not in the game yet. 
uh, but I would assume something like this is going to be there. Of course, just check the Discord for more information on the new code because it said it will be coming out, but they just forgot to add it in this update. Well, probably when they have like a mini macro patch or whatever, just add in another code for that. So yeah, pretty cool little update. I will say this event in total has been an absolute success. The rewind has been giga high quality. We got, you know, a bunch of new different features, you know, two different currencies. We've never had that before. We got those new medals, which is a new permanent gameplay feature. Uh, the bosses are interesting as well, because you can see this one gets stronger every time. The bosses now give an extra spin, which you can use. And, you know, it just gives all around good, very good rewards. Like doing the final things in the game actually rewards you with something decent instead of having to RNG roll for a pet. And doesn't matter if you grind yourself or get it from somewhere else. <laughs> you actually right now have to go ahead and play the game, which is very, very, very good. So yeah, I think to be honest, this is going to wrap up my video for today. I'm going to continue, of course, grinding and get myself a lot of gains. I need to get myself so much more strength uh, because I was mainly focusing on getting more gold. Uh, but that was not needed. We needed more strength in total. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and defeat Sheldon the Titanus pretty soon, hopefully. And of course, let me know in the comment section down below if you spawn something crazy already from the Market Fortune Wheel. So if you have enjoyed this video, I would highly appreciate a like down below, guys. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. So guys, take care, live by. Thanks so much for watching, and of course, as well, take care.